So I came outside to go mess with the cows and the goats. And these guys met me at the door, actually at the steps, um, and were causing quite the ruckus. Um, so I ended up having to throw them out some dog food in order to quiet them down, just so I could come out here and mess with the cows and the goats and make a video without them being so loud and so noisy. Um, the geese and the ducks, as you can see, have grown tremendously since our last video. Um, and we have actually been super busy. And so it's been a little while since we've done a video, um, but that's why we're back now. So stay tuned. All right, so I came out here to the cow pen and the goat pen um, just so I could show you everybody and so you could see how much they've grown since our last videos. Um, I don't think we ever got around to introducing you to our goats. Um, we have three total right now, but we're definitely planning on getting some more um, simply because we have a large pasture that we're hoping to keep down, a large pasture that we're hoping that the goats will help keep eaten down so that there's not so many briars and underbrush and all that good stuff. Um, but for right now, we only have three. And then of course we have our three cows who have grown a lot um, and are a lot more docile. You can come out here and scratch their heads. Um, they'll eat out of your hand. So it's nice, um, or it has been nice seeing the transformation where these animals have become so much more trusting um, and building the relationship with them. So this is our biggest girl, uh, and she can be kind of a bully when it comes to feeding time. Um, yeah, she wants her food and she's gonna get it. And she has missed no meals, as you can tell. Hey, girl. Hey. Good girl. Initially, Anderson had named this one Raven, but then I think he went back and changed the name to Rosie. Um, not really sure what her name is at the moment. Um, yeah, but either way, she's a good girl. Yeah, there's a good girl. And then here's the middle sized one. She doesn't really have a name. Uh, I think Danny ended up naming her Karen at one point, but there again, we've not really been using her name. And then our smallest one over here, I don't know if you can see her. There she is. That's Loretta, as in Loretta Lynn. She is the smallest. Um, it took her a little longer to come around, but even now, um, as she's eaten, you can go up and pet her and she's perfectly fine. All right, so this is Luke. Luke is our goat slash dog slash cow. He doesn't really know what he is. Um, he is a Nigerian dwarf goat. And one thing we do know about him, he likes to eat. You see that big old pot belly on him? Um, He's a sweet boy. He has been fixed, um, so he's not going to have any babies running around here, or he's not going to be the daddy of any of the babies, at least, but he's a good boy. And then this one over here, that is Elsa. We think she may be pregnant, but we're not positive. And then this is our sweet Dapple. Of all of our goats, she is by far the most loving. She loves a good scratch on her head and she'll come over and lean into you and she's a sweet girl. So there's all three of our goats. Like I said, Dapple is by far the sweetest and most loving. And then you have Luke who he is the favorite of the boys. They will get out here and romp and play with him and go climb on the hay bale and just have a lot of fun with him. And then Elsa over there, 
she doesn't really like to be petted. Um, she's not mean at all. Um, she's just a little standoffish, but you can feed her. Uh, she does come up to you, but she just doesn't want a whole lot of loving. And this is what I mean about Dapple. She'll come over and put her head into you and just won't love. And yes, we do have some wild chickens out here. Um, we had our Domineckers and Bard Rock. Um, our Lavenders, unfortunately, became a meal for a stray dog. Um, our Josh ended up eating them. I was not happy and I will be ordering more of my Lavenders, but the Domineckers and the Bard Rocks, um, they did not like to stay in the pen. So they decided to come out here and take up residence with the cows and the goats. So our corn for this year is officially over. Um, we planted about eight rows and as soon as we got back from vacation, um, that's another reason we've been kind of quiet. As soon as we got back from vacation up in Georgia, um, we commenced to gathering corn. Uh, it was all hands on deck. The boys helped. Um, my mom was here. My mother-in-law helped me and Steve and We gathered all eight rows and creamed the corn and put it up and total we got da -da -da -da. Um, I think we got 81 uh, quarts of creamed corn put up uh, when everything was said and done so, yeah, it was a lot of work. Um, we got home on a Saturday. We broke the corn on a Sunday. And as soon as I got done with work on a Monday, um, we commenced to blanching it and scraping it. Um, after we picked it on Sunday, we went ahead and shucked it and silked it, um, put it on ice in the coolers overnight. And then, um, like I said, uh, Monday we definitely went to work with getting everything put up um, So we were very grateful that we were able to put up that much. I had actually just used the last of our cream corn um, from 2015 uh, At Danny's birthday party this year, so we were in need of corn um, And thankfully we were able to get plenty to put up so now we've got the leftover corn out here in the garden um, there's some ears of corn on it, but it is beginning to get starchy uh, and dimpled. So we're just gonna give some to the cows and the goats. Um, and of course, the chickens that are in the pen with them, they love finding the little uh, worms that are in the tops of the corn. So we're gonna pick some and go give it to them for them to enjoy and then we'll watch them eat it. All right, so I got them some corn. Um, I'm gonna take it over here and chop it up with the machete to make it a little more manageable for them. Um, but based on the looks of things, they're ready for it because they're sitting here watching me. Are y'all waiting for your corn? Well, come on. Come on, girls. And Luke. Are y'all excited? Come on, girls. Good girl. Good girl. See, this is what our corn looked like this year. Um, it's kind of like a marbled effect. And that's the result of Steve planting Silver Queen, I think it was and peaches and cream and it just kind of cross pollinates and makes this beautiful ear of corn. Here you go girl. There you go. Can you get it? Good girl. Here you go. They quite enjoy their corn treats. Hey, Dapple.
So I gave him my pineapple plant that I had planted, um, mainly because the geese had come over here and pulled it out of its pot and broke its roots and um, yeah, it was looking like death warmed over. So now the goats get to have it. You having trouble there, Elsa? I think they're enjoying their little waller that we're making. The one in the waller, the white one, that's fat back. The one with the stripe across his back, that's bacon. And then the red one over there, that's pork chop. I don't think we've actually shown them in a video yet. So, ta-da, here they are, y'all. I guess they feel better after getting in their little uh, mud bath. Because as soon as they got done, they went over and started eating. All right. Let's see if I can't set y'all up where I can multitask. I got to get dinner started. So I mentioned earlier um, that we had gone to Georgia for a week. Um, our yearly vacation, we normally take at the beach, but because of the virus and all the restrictions this year, um, the county that we normally go to was not open yet. So um, with Steve working where he does, he has to plan his vacations a year in advance. Um, and we certainly, if we could, we're not going to miss the opportunity to go on vacation as a family. So uh, we went up to the mountains. We rented a cabin on 20 acres and commenced to trying to trout fish. Um, we did catch some, but I think the area that we went to was just so overfished. Um, but we enjoyed going in all the creeks and exploring and the boys had a really good time, which honestly, that was the most important thing. Um, so it was me and Steve and our two younger boys and then, uh, his mom and my mom all went. So yeah, we were in the car for six or eight hours up there. Um, but we made the best of it. We made good time uh, because we left on a Saturday and then came back on a Saturday. So most of the work traffic was obsolete, which was really nice when we went through Atlanta. Um, last time we went in November, when we went through Atlanta, we got stuck in Atlanta um, and in a traffic jam just outside of Atlanta for probably, I don't know, an hour or so, maybe even longer with the combined, you know, issue of the two, um, Atlanta just being a hot mess and then the accident. Um, so anyway, it was much nicer this time. Um, and yeah, we really enjoyed it. We, um, came back and on a Saturday, as I mentioned, and then Sunday is when we started gathering the corn, um, in the middle of a tropical depression. And so it was raining here. It was high humidity. It was miserable. Um, I had already resigned myself that morning to know that I was going to get soaking wet. Um, and I just did the best I could. And then when I got everything gathered, um, or while I was gathering, um, Mama and the boys uh, worked on shucking and silking. And then Steve had run into town. So when he got back, he jumped in on it as well. And uh, we managed to get all of it done and all of it stored in coolers overnight with ice so that it didn't ruin before we could cream it the next day. Um, yeah, so like I said, it's been very busy. Um, I had contemplated doing a video uh, when we went to Georgia, but I decided that, you know, it was vacation and we needed to just do some family time. So... That's why I didn't post anything while we were up there. Um, and I don't regret it. You know, it's nice to disconnect from all technology every now and then. Um, 
technology is what I work with every day. Um, and yeah, I get tired of it. Um, as much as I love technology, I also hate it in the same breath. So it's nice to disconnect. And when I say disconnect, I mean totally disconnect from your phone, your computer, everything. Um, sometimes you just need that break. But anyway, the week ended up being rather eventful. Um, I got back and work was crazy busy. And um, I think I had something like 80 emails that I needed to do something with. Um, and then on top of that, it was uh, the first week back at camp for the boys for horse riding, which they loved and they were thrilled about. Um, but it was just a lot. And then Tuesday, Tuesday night, I guess it was, um, the boys were out in the woods looking for a trap, um, a live trap, and Anderson fell and ended up sticking a rusty wire in his knee. And in the span of less than 24 hours, it went from just a, it went from just a little poke, um, a, a little mark in his knee to fully inflamed and spreading fast. If you've never had any experience with it, um, Infections in kids' joints uh, can be rather serious rather quickly. Um, so if your little one falls and happens to stick a rusty wire in their knee, I recommend going ahead and taking them to the doctor uh, just to be on the safe side. So now Anderson uh, is taking antibiotics for the next 10 days, um, every eight hours around the clock so that the infection will clear up. Um, the antibiotics that he's on are actually some of the, well, it is the strongest that they can give him without him being in the hospital. So that gives you any idea of just how bad it was. Um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll put some pictures up and show you the progression and how quick uh, it went from, uh, this may be bad to, okay, this is bad. So, um, one other thing I wanted to mention before I get these quesadillas started, um, I know we were canning green beans the last time we did a video, and we ended up putting more green beans up than what I had initially thought. Um, we were thankful that we got 73 quarts of green beans put up. Um, I think my mother-in-law ended up putting a little over 20 up, and then my sister-in-law did the same. Um, so those three rows of Roma beans this year really produced. Um, but like I said, it was just a super busy time. We had a lot going on. I was trying to tie up loose ends at work, get ready for the trip, um, you know, get animals taken care of and make arrangements for them to be taken care of while we were gone. So anyway, that's why we were kind of MIA for just a little while. Um, but we're back now, so hopefully we can uh, take you out there and show you some more of the animals. Um, the garden's almost over except for the okra. Our peas didn't really do well this year, unfortunately. But um, I still have pepper plants that are growing really well. In fact, I've got quite a few uh, cayenne sitting over there on the counter and I'm waiting for my Tabascos to get ripe. Um, and then I'm gonna try and make some pepper jelly. So my coworker, Amber, uh, sent me a recipe and I'm going to try it. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go. That way I can get these quesadillas made and that way I can get some food in my stomach. But we will see y'all on the next video. Bye y'all.